know all the questions you ask the internet because you're too scared to say them out loud? Well, it's time to stop being afraid and start talking. Relationships, college, jobs, celebrities, social issues, and sex. Then we'll get into the taboo stuff. The Chelsea Cross Show, a fresh take on talk. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. I'm at the studio right now getting ready for the Chelsea Cross Show. I'm super excited. We have a lot to prepare. Hey guys, don't worry, that was a staged assault. But every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted in the United States. Just this week, three women that were abducted over 10 years ago were found alive, and we're so happy that they're back with their families. Would you know what to do if you were approached by an attacker? I certainly would not have until Tracy and Charlie Vega taught me. That was Charlie in the video, and he's here now with his wife, Tracy. They are the founders of Simple Self-Defense for Women. They specialize in self-defense for women from ages 9 to 91, with a focus on how to simply escape an attack, not stay and fight. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. I think it's so important to empower young women with the knowledge of how to escape an attacker. Absolutely. And you proud yourself on not fighting back, but escaping, and what is the difference? The huge difference basically is you can't teach somebody how to fight in a short amount of time. It takes years to be a proficient fighter, and most women don't want to be a proficient fighter. So the best real approach is to avoid and then to escape. Yep. And that's what we teach. You know, and I think so many young women, well, 9 to 91, it doesn't matter what age you are, are nervous about their size. I mean, me, I, I think that I'm smaller, especially standing next to you. And you're in heels. And I'm in heels, yeah. and yeah. I, I would think that I have no chance. But that's not the case. Nope, we're teaching you how to escape. We're teaching all of them. And it has nothing to do with physical strength. So we're going to show you guys some great stuff. And I heard that my size is actually like the perfect size. <laughs> the, of course you're perfect size. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to escape. But what makes me a good size? You're petite. Okay. You're very petite. So when we're talking about people who might be afraid that they're not going to be able to get away, when they look at somebody like you who's petite, they know that they can do it. If you can do it, they can do it. Absolutely. So right. let's demonstrate what move you taught me in the parking lot sure. and show people how to escape that attacker. Okay. Sure. So what I do is I put my hand around you like this, and I'm going to grab you. And the, the rule is you grab one finger and you peel the finger. So whenever you see a finger, you peel it and bend it back. Right. And in this case, to make me go down, point it towards my nose and just go keep it. Keep oh. Going. And of course, I run the opposite direction. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And I really could take you down. <laughs> absolutely, you did. You yeah. know what happens, Chelsea? When you're doing it really fast and your adrenaline is going, you're going to snap that person's finger and they're going to hit the ground in so much pain, you're going to be able to take off. And one finger does the trick. One absolutely. finger does the trick. And what it does is it basically gives you time to get away. And that's what we're teaching, creating right. time to escape. Time right. and distance. Now, I always am conscious, uh, you know, of course, like I was, you know, videoing myself with headphones, but what are some of the things that we do on a daily basis? We're walking down the street and we're not necessarily aware of our surroundings. Well, but you're doing just that. You're on your phone looking down, you have your headset in your ears, and my gosh, we're passing people all the time that are walking and looking. It's like, pay attention, that's safety 101. You've got to be aware of your surroundings. So important, especially if you're in a bustling city and there's yeah. people all around. Now, I know that I've been in certain situations where I am walking down the street and I kind of see someone out of the corner of my eye and I get a little nervous and I start walking faster and if you think that they're going to be that atta attacker how do you prevent the attack from happening well the first thing is the r another rule is basically you have to keep your distance and not let anybody get into your personal space and we define personal space as anywhere between seven and ten feet away because that attacker wants to get close so they can have an advantage and overpower you and right. that's what you don't want you want to keep distance so the rule is do not let anybody get into your personal space. And the way we do that basically is you put your hand put up. Put your hand up. So if you were coming towards me, and, and, and this is even women coming and attacking women. If you were coming towards me and I didn't feel comfortable with you approaching me, I'd say, excuse me, can I help you? And you notice you're trying to look around my hand, and that's kind of the idea because I want to intimidate you right. so you can't see me because now you know I'm not an easy target because and I'm paying attention. Your eyes immediately go up 
when that person knows that you're not an easy target. So right away, you, you've improved your odds. The second thing it does is think about it, when she has her hand up, if there's somebody in the parking lot right. yep. and they see that, even if they didn't hear what she said, it's the universal language that says, hey, there's a potential problem. Most everybody has a cell phone. They'll call 911 We know they all say, have a cell phone because they're all doing this. So right. now right. that they've seen that happen, they can call. They may not get it involved. It alerts the people in the public area, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. So important. And yep. you have so many great tips. Thank you both so you're much. Welcome. Tracy and Charlie are actually going to be back later in the show to teach us more self-defense moves in any situation. But up next, we're going to take a closer look at how sexual assault affects its victims. We'll be right back.